hello guys and welcome back to my channel wisdom and light and i am back with another monthly horoscope today is going to be for my scorpios if your sun moon or rising is ruled by scorpio this video is divinely for you thank you guys so much for being extremely patient with me i hope the beginning of your new year was amazing so let's dive on into the cosmos and what i'm feeling for you guys if you guys are not following me on my social media what is you doing I have two accounts, there's Wisdom and Light and then there's Wisdom and Light Predictions. And on my Wisdom and Light Predictions, Scorpio was one of the few signs that I felt this very intense, angry, or overwhelmed energy from. And I did say that I was going to pull up and come through because I am on vacation and I didn't even think I would come this soon to do the monthly horoscope. I actually thought I was going to do it February. But we're going to be talking about it. This is a general message for Scorpio. So just please keep that in mind. So we're just shuffling the cards right now. We're going to be looking into everything surrounding Scorpio and what spirit wants you to know for your highest good. What is surrounding Scorpio during this time? We have the Tower card. So the Tower card is here. So I wasn't tripping. I wasn't hallucinating what I felt this 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 shift for Scorpio and the year just started so let's see what's happening around Scorpio the tower card life experience powerful revelations is what's coming through for um, Scorpio okay next card that comes through balance the need for balance and moderation cooperation and compromise wait for perfect timing which is actually the temperance ruled by Sagittarius that card comes through the Sun okay one two. nine of wands which is nine of fire the star and then lastly we have Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What is surrounding Scorpio? Back of the deck energy is the High Priestess Reverse. So let's talk about this energy that is here. So Scorpio, the Tower card is always the destruction of what was once a very huge part of your life. Okay, Scorpio. I do feel like right now you are releasing and letting things go. I also feel that right now, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a tower moment in regards to emotions, things coming out of the woodworks, people acting a little bit off, people acting a little bit strange. And I don't know what's in the Cosmo for Scorpios, but I do feel like you guys are more sensitive than normal. And I do feel like it has a lot to do with how you guys were treated last year. And I don't want you guys to turn dark because things happen and it's unfortunate. Things happen and there's a lesson that's meant to be gained from it. But don't let that change your heart. Don't let that change who you are. Don't let that deter you and stray you away from the light. Because you guys are stepping into your shadow side and it's showing the bad side of you. I know a lot of Scorpios that are dealing with the realizations of people don't give the love that I give back so it's changing you guys it's, it's changing your heart now if you guys have been watching my videos for Scorpio I have talked about my favorite character in Game of Thrones Daenerys Targaryen and the author confirmed that she does have Scorpio energy and, and he inspired it from Scorpio that she gave so much and she was so passionate up until people kept taking and people kept betraying her people kept lying to her and she stepped into her shadow side and she torched a whore and she torched up a whole kingdom she set everything ablaze she set everything on fire you are so beautiful in so many ways there's so many layers to you that people don't get to see don't let this unfortunate situation change your heart or change you don't let people's flaws change who you are okay don't let people's false promises make you believe that no one in this world will ever 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 be honest to you because that in itself is a lie even though we may feel that way it is a lie start just releasing it letting it go and that's that 
but again if you are trying to come back to a person if you are trying to apologize if you're trying to make something work right now Scorpio I'm picking up that person is not ready to receive you you scorched them did they deserve it they probably did they probably wronged you they probably really hurt you but they're not ready to approach you because they're fucking scared of you they're not going to approach you and I feel that you need to acknowledge that and just accept it for what it is they'll come around this person will come back because we have the Sun card we have them extending themselves to you we have them wanting to make it work but the nine of wands is here because their guard is all the way up they're like uh-uh uh-uh they're like i'm scared of you it may come off as defensive or there be or them being defiant but they are in fact scared of you i keep seeing that people want to reach out to you or people want to come to you but they keep saying nah never mind and they keep turning back around like you're waiting for this person to come back or you're waiting for this person to apologize you're waiting for this person to reach out this could be a friend relationship business colleague this is a general reading like they want to approach you but they keep changing their mind or they keep saying you know what I'm still healing up from that bruise and yeah I deserved it but I don't know if I'm ready <laughs> so Scorpio that is um what I'm seeing and this applies to Scorpio moons as well so Scorpio just be very mindful of that just um don't let life change you so find the balance find the balance find your happy place and just give it more time just give it more time because it's necessary okay now another thing that i feel for scorpio the high priestess in reverse talks about is a scorpionic energy interesting enough that the high priestess card is here you naturally are very intuitive and you can see things for what it is so again do not let your pain blind you from what it from what is and what isn't okay really open your eyes and pay attention to things i think i spoke into a few scorpios that were about to like flip the fuck out and I told them that's not you and it's not worth it okay because if you go that route they're gonna be scared of you even if you're trying to prove a point I hope this is all making sense and I, and I, I feel like a lot of you guys just have your arms crossed and you guys are like mm -mm, I don't give a fuck okay I'm just the messenger all right I'm telling you right now you're mad now but in a few weeks you're gonna calm down and in a few weeks you're gonna be like you know what I don't want to have hate in my heart. And when you try to knock on that door, they're going to hide. Y'all ever seen when y'all try to knock on the door and then everybody in the house starts hiding like they're not home? I feel like that's what people are doing with you, Scorpio. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. Like they're all running and hiding. But they will come around. They will come around. They will come around and everything will be okay. But right now, people are, mad. People are scared of you. People are scared of you. Okay? People are scared of you. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is also here because your money is definitely going to be very good for you this year, um, Scorpio. I do feel like your money is going to improve because you're going to be doing a lot of saving. You're going to be very frugal. So it's very necessary. Now, let's see. What is the love message for Scorpio to... Love message for Scorpio. We have the Two of Cups coming together. The King of Pentacles. Ooh. The King of Swords. So this is love messages coming through um, for Scorpio. So good news in relationships is coming up for Scorpio. So even though for some Scorpios, it's just about not letting your anger get the best of you. There's also a lot of Scorpios that are actually stepping into happy times with their partner. Stepping into understanding and learning each other more. Meeting new people. So I do feel like um, the moment you release this anger or you release this pain of feeling like you're not worthy enough or good enough, it's going to bring in new people that are going to be worthy of you, Scorpio. So I do feel like this year, if you are looking for love, this is definitely something that can be coming for you in 2020 if you open yourself up to receive it, okay? Um, again, not all Scorpios are angry right now, but there are some that are being pessimistic. If you're not angry, you're being pessimistic. You're not believing. You're not being optimistic, okay? And you need to be optimistic because that's what's going to give you the results that's necessary, okay? So it's either, I have, okay, I have one side of Scorpios that are like mad as fuck, and then I have another side of Scorpios that are just pessimistic and sad, and they are just scared that things are not going to pen out their way and work out in their favor and all of that is an illusion because justice will be served and love is here no love has never left so that is um something that i'm really really seeing um for scorpio so i feel really good about that um what are the love messages coming through for scorpio one 
two, three, four. Okay. I'm also picking up that Scorpios are trying to start something or do something, but again, feeling discouraged, feeling like it's not going to work out, feeling like it's not going to be successful. Not true. Keep planning at it. It will be a good time for you to launch this around February, March. Okay. You guys are doubting yourselves, and it's not necessary to keep doubting yourself. So now we have Shine. Keep shining, Scorpio. Refusing to see. Now this whole reading, Spirit is like, okay, Scorpio, you're you're kind of not seeing your worth, or you're not seeing that you're slipping, or you're not seeing that this and that and that is this. So don't don't blind yourself, because this is also this is also High Priestess energy. Okay. Don't blind yourself. Please do not blind yourself. They want you to see and pay attention to everything and to really look at everything because you have the gift of seeing things for what it is. Do not let your anger or your pessimism blind you. Okay? Do not let it not see what's in front of you, which are all of the blessings that are here, all of the blessings that are meant for you. Okay? Simply love reach out again I, I don't know what it is i feel like scorpios are knocking on people's doors like hey let's talk i'm ready to talk or i'm done with this let's figure this out and again the person might not be ready to receive you right now so it might hurt your feelings that they're not ready to receive you it might hurt your feelings some will some won't. messages for scorpio Love messages for Scorpio to getting to know each other. Take your time when it comes to love for all of my Scorpios that are single. Express your love and express how you feel. The card went reverse, but I'm just going to acknowledge this up. I'm just going to acknowledge it up front. Embrace love. Express yourself. Be honest and truthful to one another. That's coming up for Scorpios that are single. Take your time in dating and fill out their energy before you step in. But I do feel like a lot of Scorpios are not in relationships or whoever is watching this is not in a relationship and they're trying to distance themselves and be by themselves. For my Scorpios that are in relationships or married, because again, it's a general message. Make the effort. Try to make it work. Okay, so Scorpio, remember when I said that someone received your wrath? <laughs> someone received your wrath and someone got what they deserve or you felt that they received what they deserved? Notice how make the effort is here for Scorpios that are in relationships. Make the efforts, make it work. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Make the effort, make it work. Talk it out. Even though they may kind of be like not ready to receive you right now, they will. Being that the make the effort card is here. And then lastly, we have free yourself. Let Yeah, let this go, Scorpio. Like, let it be. We're not going to start the year off. From the same shit of 2019, we're moving forward. We're letting it go. Let this go. This is not worth your energy. This is too much. Take the high road. Be the bigger person. Let it be. Let go. Let flow. But don't let it consume you. You're so beautiful. And I just don't want you guys to... I, I don't want you guys to be in dark. I want you guys to be in the light. Because you guys are so beautiful when you guys are in the light. Don't, don't let this unfortunate life event or life occurrence or people taint you and change you. If you have to move, move. If you have to relocate yourself, do that. But don't lose yourself in this anger. Don't lose yourself in this pessimism or depression or sadness. Pull yourself out of it. That's what I'm seeing for Scorpio for January. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I love, 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 love you Scorpios. It's going to be okay. Breathe in, breathe out, let it go. Mwah. Bye.